Hi, my name is Lavinia. This is Peter. Welcome to Games Made Easy. Today, I want to teach you and give you some tips on how to play Dixit. What I love about Dixit is that the only limit is someone's imagination. It can take you places where you laugh your head off. And it has quite a few expansions which keep the game fresh and they all have beautiful cards. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Each player at their turn will become a storyteller, while others will need to guess which of these beautiful cards the storyteller is using. If you guess correctly and are a good storyteller, you can be the first to reach 30 points and win the game. So you start Dixit by placing the scoreboard in the middle of the table. Then each player selects a color and places their bunny on the starting space of the scoreboard here. Now, you also take the number tokens you need. You have the same color as the color of the bunny and you pick the same number of tokens as the number of players so in this case it's a four player game so you're going to pick up to four and you're going to discard the five and six then you're going to shuffle the deck of cards and you're going to distribute six cards to each player each turn there's one active player and that player is the storyteller for that turn the storyteller looks at the images on the six cards in hand and from one of them selects a word or a sentence that will describe that card. Now be careful not to be too specific, too obvious or too cryptic. If all the other players guess correctly or if it's so cryptic that none of them gets it, then the storyteller doesn't score anything. So say for instance, if you say going on an adventure, that can be very generic and it could apply to this one, this one and this one. Now you can also become too specific and say, girl playing the cello or music. You also need to make sure you understand your audience. The clues won't be the same if you play with children or with adults. For instance, you could say sadness for children in this case, but you could use sadness for an adult here. Also, you cannot give clues that are so personal that only one player would know. Without showing it, the storyteller places the card face down in the middle of the table. Then all the other players at the same time find a card in their hand that best matches the description of the storyteller and gives it to the storyteller. Then the storyteller will shuffle all the received cards and all the cards are shown face up and placed on the side of the scoreboard so that they each have a number assigned to them. It's important once the cards have been revealed that nobody talks about them or the game to avoid giving any hint, even by mistake. At this point, each player knows his own card, but needs to guess which card was the one from the storyteller. Once they think they know, they select one of the number tokens and give it face down to the storyteller. Of course, the storyteller doesn't select a card. Once all players have done their selection, the storyteller flips the tokens and the judging can begin. In this case, the storyteller's card was this one and it was sadness. Now we usually put the tokens in their respective numbers. Now the best case scenario for the storyteller is if some players, but not all, guess the correct card, like here. Now in this case, the storyteller and whoever found the correct answer score three points. So who scores three points and the green player as well three points if nobody or everybody finds the correct card the storyteller scores zero and each of the other players scores two the players who guess this card that player will also get extra points in this case it was the green player's card so the green player would make an extra two points once the points are counted and scored, each player takes a new card from the deck. Now the player who's on the left of the storyteller will become the new active player. There are some slight variations in a three-player game. Players will receive seven cards instead of six. And while the storyteller will only play one card, the other two players will play two cards. So there will be a total of five cards in play. That's why you'll need the number tokens from one to five. The voting and scoring remains the same. The game ends as soon as a player reaches 30 points or we run out of cards in the deck, in which case the player with the most points wins the game. Now Dixit takes about half an hour. It's a great game and it gets even better when there are more players. My tips to win at Dixit are, Dixit is a social game, so don't focus too much on strategy, focus on having a good time. Enjoy the art of the cards, pick up little details that you might overlook but would be obvious to others. If you think of something that some will guess but others won't, you're in a good place. When in doubt, it's better to use a random clue than a clue that everyone will guess. That's how you play Dixit. It's a fun social game to let your imagination run wild. 
If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe or leave in the comments a game you would like me to teach. I will make more games easy soon. Bye now.